Hey guys, what's going on? It's Irving here from the Keg Tab. Yes, I know it's been a long time. Bear with me. I'm going through some technical difficulties. I'm now shooting on my cell phone, but I got a pretty decent cell phone, so uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. All right, I got a beer for you today. Trogues Nugget Nectar is definitely one of my favorite, favorite IPAs ever. Um, it gives me what I look for in an IPA, and what I look for in an IPA is very tropical fruit, uh, you know, bitterness um, with a nice body. Uh, so uh, there's some good information here on this label on the side here. It tells me the alcohol, tells me the IBUs, and it tells me the hops that go into it. The reason I, I, I say it's good information because the hops are really going to tell me what the thing's going to taste like, right? 7.5%, I'm getting a nice decent alcohol level, uh, 93 uh, IBUs, very bitter. So this is definitely a bitter beer. Um, but the hops are really where this is really descriptive for us. So Nugget and Warrior, bittering hops. Don't worry about those, they just add to the bitterness, which, which contributes to that 93 IBUs. Tomahawk and Simcoe are the, the flavor additions. So Tomahawk, you're getting more like a citrusy. Uh, it's part of the CTZ hops, the Columbus and the Zeus hops. And then C Simcoe, you're getting more of like a passion fruit uh, flavor there. So citrus passion fruit thing. Um, and then Palisades is the last hop they list here, which is probably the Aroma hop, which gives you like a like an apricot uh, aroma to it. So I'm looking forward uh, to getting this open with that descriptor on the label. I know exactly what's in this can. Well, I've also had it before, so uh, I kind of cheated. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get this in a glass and see what it has for us in terms of aroma, taste, and just give you an overall verdict on the beer. All right, so we have a poured. Let's go ahead and put it up to our nose and see what it has for us in terms of aroma. You know, right up front, you're getting this like sweet mango characteristic to it. A little graininess in there. Uh, maybe some pineapples, but you smell a lot of tropical fruit, a lot of mango, a little hint of pineapple in there, and it just smells sweet. sweet. It smells like something you want to drink. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we have it uh, smell. Let's go ahead and put it down a hatch, guys. Cheers. Mm. This is one of my favorites for a reason, right? This beer. All right, anyway, it hits you with this nice bitterness right up front. And then uh, you get this mango-y, passion fruity, uh, 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 just taste on your tongue. It finishes off dry. Right now, I'm like, I don't need some more drinking some more. Um, and it just has like a nice pineapple as well, maybe some, some passion fruit in there, but mainly I would say the predominant flavor is this mango passion fruit. All right, so overall, what do I think of this beer? Hey, listen, if, if that uh, tasting portion wasn't enough, this, I, I, I think this beer is fantastic. For me, it's getting an A plus, why? Because it's just great. So it's one of my favorite IPAs for a reason. You get all the notes that I look for um, when I drink IPAs. Just tropical fruit flavors, passion fruit, um, some pineapples, some mangoes in there. It just It's like a big cauldron of just deliciousness, in this case a, a cup of, of greatness. So um, if you can find it in your area, go ahead and pick it up. You're definitely not going to be disappointed with this one. Um, yeah, guys. Cheers. <laughs>